<coughs> Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you what I've done to my apple tree this year. We've, last year we had lots and lots of coddle and moth grubs and I've decided to <coughs> tackle that issue with vengeance. So what I did was I put stockings around the apples, basically wrap them around each apple and hopefully that will stop any grubs from penetrating and getting to our beautiful apples. So that's one way that I've tackled it. I've also put bits around the base of the tree so when the larvae go to climb up the trunk of the tree, they can't, they won't, they won't want to touch the big layer because it's hideous. So then I also um, put an earwig trap at the bottom of the tree. One final method which I tried as well, which is I wrapped corrugated cardboard, I strip it around the tree with some string. I've replaced it every few weeks, um, totally just discarded it into the bin. That way hopefully any larvae that were sleeping and lying in there have been tossed out too. So uh, with those methods, hopefully, we'll be cuddling them off. Hey! And there you can see my earwig trap. The earwig are predators of the codlin moth grubs. They'll hatch in the ground and they'll start to climb up the base of the tree. The earwigs will eat those grubs. They love them. So I've created a little trap there for them to hopefully take care of it that way. Up here you can see the Vix layer that I've put on the tree. I've also wiped it further up the tree as well. So hopefully, along with that method, and my method of putting the stockings around the... Okay, so there you can see how I've put stockings around some of the apples and that stops the bug from, the grub from penetrating into the apple itself and hopefully we'll have no coddling moth grub inside our apples this year. the final way that I've attacked codlin, codlin moth, moth this year. This is a little apple tree but it's showing in the trap that I've made for this apple tree. And this has got a mixture in it which has got molasses, brandy, uh, a bit of beer and some water. And this attracts the moth and they essentially drink it. And so this was the final way of tackling the coddling moth this year. We've got a mixture of inside this jar that is, uh, attracts the moths when they're young, attracts the female moths and they go in there and they drink and they die. So that slows them down from lay laying their eggs. And hopefully with those few methods then we won't have any moths this year. This is a snail and slug trap. These work quite well in the garden. Um, you fill them with a bit of beer and the snails and the slugs crawl under the lid and go in there to drink it and then they get drunk and drown. So um, I'll just show you, see if there's any in there. This one needs replacing but it's worked quite well. You can see that there's quite a few in there and spiders as well so this is overdue for a, a refill of beer my husband's just a bit precious about the beer that I choose to put in there but yeah it does a good job another another way of controlling snails and slugs in the garden is doing a coffee spray uh, you mix up an espresso mix has to be espresso put it in a spray can with some water 
spray it around the vulnerable herbs and vegetables and for me that's lettuces and beans and the cucumbers and um, you spray it around and it apparently kills them so it does quite a good job.